The Whispers of the Woods. Scene one. In a dense old growth forest where each tree is hundreds of years old, there's a young woman named Ella. She has been wandering around these woods for hours to reflect upon her meaning in life and to clear her head. She feels dragged down by her personal struggles, and felt a nice walk would do her good, and let her think about her path in life. But just like the uncertainty in that path, her journey through the forest was less than clear, and now she was lost. But in this forest, on this day, Ella was not alone. Why does everything have to be so hard? Why can't I find my path in life? One minute it seems like I have everything together, and next, I feel like everything conflicts with each other and nothing is working. How am I supposed to move forward and be happy when everything I do seems to just fall apart? Young one, why do you hurry so? Why do you let your heart be heavy? Who said that? We are the spirits of the forest, dear. We have been here for centuries, watching, listening, learning. I feel lost. I thought this journey would help me find answers. Everywhere I look, I see paths, but none seem to lead to clarity. This journey, I. Took it, hoping to escape the constant pressures, the weight of expectations. Everyone around me seems to have their life mapped out: a successful career, loving relationships, purpose. But I, I feel like I'm constantly drowning, unable to keep up, constantly compared and falling short. It's like there's a, this void, this emptiness inside. And no matter how hard I try to fill it, with achievements, with relationships, with distractions, it just grows. I thought, I thought by coming here, by seeking solitude, I'd find answers. But all I feel is more lost, more disconnected. I'm haunted by my mistakes, paralyzed by fear of the future, and stuck in the present's uncertainties. Sometimes it's not the answers we seek, but the questions we have yet to ask. Scene two. Ella hesitates, her eyes scanning the seemingly endless forest around her. A delicate mist cloaks the trees, giving the surroundings an ethereal glow. The sunbeams pierce through in places, creating intricate patterns on the forest floor. Birdsong fills the air, and a gentle breeze carries the fragrance of pine and wildflowers. As she continues her journey, every step seems to resonate with the whispering voices around her. Each one telling tales of old, lessons learned, and wisdom gained. She's surrounded by an ancient chorus of nature. I hear you all. Urging me to be patient, to grow and evolve, but it's not that easy. I've tried to change, tried to break free from the chains of my past, the judgments, the self-doubt. But every time I try to move forward, something pulls me back. Memories of failures, the voice of naysayers, the weight of societal expectations. It feels insurmountable. But remember, dear one, storms make trees take deeper roots. Your struggles aren't meant to break you, but to make you stronger, to ground you. It's not just the storms; it's also the calm after. When everything is silent and I'm left alone with my thoughts, that's when the real tempest begins. The fear of making the wrong choices. Of not living up to what everyone wants from me, and most importantly, what I want from myself. The silence is deafening, filled with what ifs. Silence can indeed be daunting, but within it lies reflection, 
and through reflection comes understanding. Every tree in this forest started as a tiny seed, uncertain of its future. Yet with time, patience, and nurturing, we grew tall and strong. You will too. Scene 3 Ella stumbles upon a clearing, the thick canopy opening to reveal a pristine pond. The water is so clear that it appears as a mirror, reflecting the azure sky above. Around the pond, soft moss carpets the ground, and a congregation of delicate white lilies floats lazily on the water's surface. Dragonflies flit about, their iridescent wings catching the sunlight. The air around the pond feels almost sacred, charged with a deep tranquility. Ella approaches, mesmerized. She gazes into the pond and sees more than just her own reflection. Memories and moments from her past begin to play, like scenes on a movie screen. I see, I see a younger me, so full of hope and dreams. There's the day I graduated, filled with pride and ambition. And then the job interview, where they said I wasn't the right fit. The nights I spent questioning my worth, wondering if I'd ever be good enough. The moments of joy, the laughter shared with friends, and the lonely nights crying into my pillow feeling utterly alone. She takes a deep breath, steadying herself. And then there's the time I stood up for a friend, the pride I felt in my heart, the love I shared, the heartbreaks, the healing. It's all there. Every decision, every consequence. Some moments are filled with radiant happiness, others shrouded in shadowy regrets. The pond reflects not just the moments, but the myriad emotions and choices that have shaped you. The highs, the lows, and everything in between. These memories, some make me smile, and some bring tears. But each one has played a part in my journey. Some choices I regret, others I cherish. But how do I know what's right going forward? How do I make peace with the past? Every reflection in this pond is a chapter of your story. Embrace them, learn from them, and for the future, trust in yourself and in the wisdom of your experiences. Let go of the notion of right and wrong and understand that each choice leads to growth understanding, and evolution. Scene 4 The dense foliage slowly gives way to an area where the trees grow even more grandiose, their trunks wide and roots sprawling, like wise old sentinels guarding a sacred space. Ella finds herself before the most majestic tree she has ever seen. Its bark seems to shimmer with age and its branches stretch up and outwards as though embracing the sky. The leaves seem to glitter, every shade of green imaginable. The air here feels ancient and profound, filled with an awe-inspiring stillness. Ella approaches, her heart heavy with emotions, memories, and reflections from the pond. She places a hand on the massive trunk, feeling the pulse of centuries of life. All these memories, choices, paths, they're overwhelming. It's like a puzzle with pieces constantly shifting and I'm trying desperately to make them fit, to find the perfect picture. The trees around her start whispering in harmonious chorus, 
their voices fusing into a singular resonant message. Life isn't about forcing pieces together, dear one. It's about understanding that every piece, no matter how jagged or ill-fitting it seems, has its place. Every experience, every emotion, is part of your unique tapestry. But I yearn for clarity, for a signpost in this vast wilderness of choices and consequences. How do I navigate the maze of life without a clear direction? By understanding that sometimes, it's not about having a clear path, but about creating one. By realizing that not every question has an immediate answer, and that's okay. Embrace the journey, the uncertainties, the beauty of not knowing. Ella takes a moment, letting the words sink in. The weight on her shoulders feels lighter, replaced by a budding understanding. I've been so consumed with seeking definitive answers, with finding perfection, that I lost sight of the beauty in the journey, in the growth, in the moments of not knowing. Maybe, maybe it's okay to not have all the answers right now. Maybe it's okay to trust in the journey, in the process, and in myself. You're beginning to understand. Life is an ever-evolving tapestry of experiences. Cherish them, learn from them, and trust in the wisdom they bring. Scene five. Ella, having absorbed the wisdom of the forest, sits at the base of the majestic tree. The sun, now lower in the sky, casting a golden hue around her. She closes her eyes and takes a deep breath, feeling more connected to herself than she has in a long time. This journey, it started as a desperate search for answers outside of myself but I now realize that the most profound insights come from looking within, from embracing every part of my story. As she speaks, a soft, shimmering pathway appears before her. It's not a path she recognized from her entrance into the forest, but it seems inviting, almost as if it's been waiting for her. Crafted by her newfound understanding and self-acceptance, this path, it's not the one I came on, but it feels right. I realize now that sometimes the path we least expect is the one we're meant to take. Ella slowly rises, her heart filled with gratitude and clarity. She begins to walk, every step filled with purpose and trust. Your journey is uniquely yours, Ella. And as with all journeys, it will have its twists and turns, its moments of doubt and clarity. But trust in yourself, in your story, and in the paths that unfold before you. Just like Ella, each of us is on a unique journey. We might not always have all the answers, and the path ahead may sometimes seem uncertain. But remember, your story is still unfolding. The paths before you, whether expected or surprising, are yours to take. Embrace the journey, trust in yourself, and always be open to the wisdom that life offers.